Krishna. So, in continuation to our uh, seven days, Lord Nursing Dev's wonderful, incredible pastimes, today is the second day. So, um, we will share a more story. So, this story is actually from somewhere back in 1997, that time from Mayapur. So, this uh, Mataji who had uh, such mercy from Lord Narsimdo, Lord Narsimdo reciprocated to her. She gave this story for Mayapur magazine in 1997. Okay, so what happened that uh, this uh, Mataji one day, actually she was uh, living there in Mayapur with her husband and daughter and uh, she had some problems in her eyes. Okay, so one day she went there to Lord Nursing Dev in our Mayapu temple. She went and she, she went there and she was praying to Lord Nursing Dev. Every day she will go and she will offer pranam to Panchatattva, to Radha Madhav and to Lord Nursing Dev, to everyone. So, and that day also she went to Lord Nursing Dev and she was praying to the Lord for mercy. So, she saw very nicely uh, uh, this uh, Prahlad Maharaj was standing with folded hands, Prahlad Maharaj beautiful in Mayapur, our Nursing Dev temple. Very nicely Prahlad Maharaj is standing there. So, uh, Prahlad Maharaj, she started praying to Prahlad Maharaj that uh, you are Bhakta Shiromani and uh, because you are for you, for your protection Lord Nursing Dev appeared and you are Bhakta Shiromani so you you prayed to Lord and your father Hirinikashu did so much problem for you but still you were uh, when Lord asked, actually what happened was that when Lord he asked uh, Prahlad Maharaj that I am so pleased, please ask what you want. You know, that time Prahlad Maharaj said actually I am not a businessman that I have done some bhakti so I will ask something in return. But Lord Narsingh Dev said actually I am very pleased and uh, because of, uh, because I am pleased so I want to give you something to you. So you ask. So in this way Prahlad Maharaj said okay because if it is pleasing to you my dear Lord I will ask. And what he asked? He asked that my father who did this much problem, sinful activity, offended. So you please forgive my father my dear Lord. You know? So this Mataji prayed to Prahlad Maharaj that you prayed for your father from nursing Dev and because of your prayers, Lord Nursing Dev gave mercy to Hiranyakashipu, your father also. So, my dear Prahlad Maharaj, can you please pray for me also? I am so fallen, so please pray for me so that I also get mercy of Lord Nursing Dev. In what way I should progress in my spiritual path, in my bhakti? Lord Nursing Dev, if you pray, he may show us, show me the way. So, she was praying to Prahlad Maharaj that please pray to Lord Nursing Dev for me. So, in this way she was praying and all of a sudden she felt that in her ear one very sweet voice, very sweet voice but a grave you know, voice came and that voice said that I need my eyes back. She heard like that. So she just ignored. You know? she, she could not and she started focusing on prayers. She was praying to Prahlad Maharaj. She started focusing then after some time again this voice came little more louder. What is that? I need my eyes back. Then Again, second time, she was about to ignore, but she could not ignore and she felt that this voice is something powerful, okay. So, 
so what actually happened that she was uh, feeling like that that why i am hearing this voice you know so then she felt she felt maybe it is from lord but how to know this you know so she was second time she was about to ignore then again the voice came and said i want my eyes back you should go to pujari theek hai you should go to pujari and tell now when she heard this she was kind of sure that it is lord only speaking to her but she felt if i go to pujari and tell that lord nursing there is speaking to me and then what people will think that i am such a great devotee you know i am talking like this and all that what is this pujari will feel that lord is not saying to pujari and telling him what is this so she felt something awkward that to speak but uh, uh, she prayed to lord only that as you are ordering me i will go and tell so give me the strength to do your service and then she went and she reached to the uh, the room of pujari and there uh, uh, his grace janinivas prabhu was doing arrangement for lord so and he was reading bhagavatam so she waited and then she explained to him and then he said that we should tell to uh, pankajangri prabhu also so in this way the next day uh again she went in front of most beautiful form of lord narsingh dev in the temple so then actually mata ji herself had this uh, eye problem now so she thought maybe this is my mental concoction or something from my idea that i am feeling like that because her eyes were having some problem so maybe she said that maybe this is my own mental idea that i need my eyes back or like that you know so she was thinking like that that my dear lord i am confused you know is it your voice or it is my own mental concoction that i am feeling like that so what is it so then when she was praying like that then the same voice came and told in her ears that you will get your eyes only when i will get my eyes and this time it was very grey voice and then this mother ji felt so nice and peaceful you know that yes it is lord only speaking so then uh, next day she could not she actually got up by 220 only generally she will get up by 5 6 and like that you know but that day she got very early and uh, immediately she went, got ready and went for uh, taking darshan in mangalarti and then uh, she saw uh, his grace from the jangri prabhu there and then she was about to speak to the she was feeling little shy that how can i speak such thing to sir from the jangri he saw a great devotee you know but she was feeling uh, also same thing same time she was feeling to tell also you know that lord is lord want his eyes back and then she started crying so then so but still she went and she told theek hai and uh, prabhu ji angajangri prabhu was hearing her uh, full story very nicely and then uh, he became happy he got he started smiling and he took some mahaprasad of lord narsingh dev and he, he gave to mata ji hai na and then the next day uh, this mata ji daughter came to home after taking darshan from temple and she was shouting that they changed uh, uh, the eyes of lord narsingh dev theek hai she was telling to mother that actually they changed the eyes of lord narsingh dev and now lord narsingh dev is having very beautiful red eyes so that's what that voice which came in the ear of this mata ji that voice said that i want that same red eyes back you know i like that only so so in this way uh, she was so happy that they changed the eyes of lord narsingh dev and within 3 days all of sudden 
in a very miraculous way this mataji's eyes also got cured and she became very fine you know so in this way lord narsingh dev blessed her so actually what happened that initially lord narsingh dev was having red eyes only but one day one devotee came to mayapur and he offered very nice to yellow color uh, stones which are very costly one and these stone uh, for for making eyes of lord narsingh dev so when pujari he did not like much this idea but still they changed and uh, so then now after hearing this past time and this lord himself said the pujari also became happy and in this way lord has reciprocating lord narsingh dev to his devotees and he expressed his desire and he cured the eyes of the mantis so in this way we see that how lord narsingh dev is so merciful and in mayapur he is doing so many miraculous activities and he is reciprocating to so many devotees okay so uh, this was the story for today tomorrow we will come up with another story of lord narsingh dev the the recent story hari krishna thank you so much shil prabhupad ki jai bhagwan narsingh dev ki jai